Well, good morning. It's Mel Tempest from the Gym Owners Fitness Business Podcast. And today's episode is sponsored by Ignite Fitness Business Events for Women and FIBO USA Miami 2019. Today, I'm speaking to Brian Green. Brian is the CEO from Active Solutions. Now, Active Solutions will be present at FIBO USA in Miami in October. Good morning to you, Brian. Good morning, Mel. It's great to join you. Thank you. Now, let's get stuck straight into today's podcast because Active Solutions is playing an absolute massive role in functional fitness design and programming. And you must be very proud of what Active has been doing over the last 12 months. Sure. Well, it's exciting times. You know, what's great about all things functional training is there's always a lot going on. It's very energetically driven in terms of the modalities we support. And uh, we're constantly bringing new and thoughtful ideas, we hope, to the marketplace. You certainly are. What I wanted to do today was to delve into a little bit more about what you're offering and what you can do for club owners. And there's three components of the podcast today that I wanted to speak to Brian about. The first is the active virtual the Active TV, and of course, the Active Academy. Now, for many years, um, our message to gym owners and to the industry is that they've had to go down the road and rent extra space on top of their commercial clubs that they already have to set up a functional training venue. A lot has changed in the last 18 months, and I've been a very big advocate of telling gym owners that they don't need to do this that they can set up a business within a business and use space that they already have within their club. So what I wanted to ask Brian this morning was, could you just tell me a little bit about Active Academy to start with? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Active Academy for us is sort of the culmination, if you will, of all the necessary components that really drive great experiential functional training space. So today that that means a lot of things, but for us, certainly gear is part of it, having great kit, having a flooring system that's going to support the type of training that, of course, is varied within the functional training realm, and then having some sort of programmatic component or digital guidance as well to either support a live coaching environment or if you will, sort of a free play um, perspective. And the academy is designed to really just facilitate all of that as well as to give, you know, any type of operator the ability to, you know, really enhance their brand. And there's a lot of ways that we incorporate that as well. So, Brian, with, with the academy, let's just visualize this. As a consumer, when I walk into a club, what would I be looking at? Well, hopefully what you're mostly looking at is open and inviting space, right? Because functional training is really about movement and creating space that's inviting and energetic. So really that's what we reinforce. But the idea is to set the stage. The, the, the stage can be set for HIIT training. It could be a recovery program. It could be any number of modalities that uh, the club might wish to offer. And of course, that's supported with functional rigging and things that would allow you to uh, suspend either straps or rope training or any number of modalities today. And and also store products that are handhelds and things that, you know, will facilitate the type of variability in the class structure. So at first glance, it's very functional, of course, but then we want to touch on theming and experience. So we've got any number of ways that we do that. We have floor guidance with our academy mat system, which really is designed to put the participant in the right spot at the right time for the exercise and the type of exercise. And then we've got our active TV system, which is really quite phenomenal in the sense that it's really the engine that drives the system. So any type of training, as I mentioned, can be done within the environment. And the active TV, depending upon the program, will provide, if you will, a sequential learning system so that you can actually preview what's coming next in terms of the exercises you might do. 
and most importantly, what form you need to perform um, the movement in. So, so it's really quite a comprehensive tool um, in and of itself. So the academy is actually allowing the club's members to come in to their club 24-7 and do a workout. Is that not right? No, that's correct. So the opportunity in the club environment is one that can either, once again, be live coached or sort of left for free play or opportunistic training. So today, members, you know, everybody's very, very busy. They come at all different times. Peak hours are always um, busy, but there's a lot of times where people want to come in and there may not be staff set up or a class program. So this allows for a self-guided space that still could, in essence, have a workout of the day or a workout of the morning or evening or what have you. And that can be programmed by the operator accordingly four times when there isn't a live coach available. So what uh, Brian's saying is, as a club owner, if you're listening, is that you can actually add value to the membership. So at the front desk, your front line team would be telling those that come in to inquire about your business that if they can't attend live classes with an instructor, that they have the availability to be coming in 24-7. So if they're shift workers uh, in the armed forces, they can be coming in and they can be doing workouts with the uh, active virtual and TV system. So that actually means that, you know, personal trainers can be writing programs up for your clients and then showing them in the academy area. And then the, the client has had that experience with the personal trainer and then they come in when they want and do the workout. And this is a great solution because as you said, we have um, very busy lifestyles now and sometimes we are quite poor with time management. Um, Brian, tell me, can you tell me some of the pieces that can be included in the academy area? So in my own club, you know, we have the Revel ropes, we have the graphics on the floor with the ladders. What are some of the other pieces that Active offers the club owners? Sure. Well, I mean, really anything within the functional training realm, right? You have kettlebell training, you have all sorts of unstable surface training from BOSU to our active aqua product. You have so many different variants that, you know, they can all easily exist within the system. To your point, Mal, what's great about this is it really is an extension for the operator who, of course, is looking for non-dues revenue opportunities, both in terms of personal training and small group training. And for times when those clients can't be connected to the training professional themselves, they absolutely can go there and have an extension still of that contact in that high touch environment. So it is absolutely geared for that. But you name the modality, obviously strap training, we do aerial yoga as well within the space. There's so many modalities today, boxing, kickboxing, you name it. People want variety and they want to find something that they can personally identify with for their exercise experience and, and that can all be done within the academy environment. With your experience over the last 12 months, Brian, what trend are you seeing becoming, becoming more prominent in clubs? Well, obviously we know we have the advent of an increased demand for functional movement and training. That's really not just you know, predicated upon the efficacy of it. Of course, results-driven training is so important, but it's the fun factor. It's the energy at the center in so many clubs today. So we're seeing clubs go far deeper through that experience. And as you say, you don't have to segment that from the greater club experience. In fact, you have an opportunity to, you know, stage it properly and invite more people into these spaces that they're incorporated well. So we see that as a massive trend. And then, of course, we're looking for ways to help operators better distribute the way that they're caring for clients, both in terms of balancing their labor and their staff and their training professionals, as well as experience. So through digital solutions like our Active TV or Active Academy, those are great, great supplements to the training environment and absolutely are helping to drive non dues revenue opportunities. So, Brian, if club owners have got um, wearable technology already up and running in their club and they're looking at Active Solutions, Active Solutions integrates with most um, wearable solutions? 
It integrates with many. Uh, most um, prominently, we have an integration with MyZone, and we're very uh, proud to partner with MyZone. MyZone has a you know a very well known heart rate training wearable that is um, is an integration within both of our systems. So. Ideally, if somebody is looking to monitor their own personal performance, that will integrate and, of course, bring up the classic MyZone tile on their screen. But if they do not have that, they so certainly can still benefit from, you know, the digital guidance system as well. All right. So we've spoken about the wearable technology and how you integrate with that. A club owner who's thinking about this, are they going to be restricted with space? So... Like in my club, as we discussed offline, I've got a 280 square meter functional training zone. But what about if I'm a club owner that only has 100 square meters or 150 square meters? Can Active help those club owners? Well, absolutely. But that's the key. You know, real estate, especially when we're working in densely populated cities and environments where every square foot or meter is at a premium, you know, you've got to be thoughtful in terms of the space that you're allocating to functional training and to the environments that we're crafting. So ultimately, what's interesting that we find is that you can actually service more clients, more guests within a smart functional training footprint than you can with, say, traditional equipment, cardio, and strength. Um, it's really quite amazing because although you require free movement for training, the right level of planning will allow for more people to interact within the same space as long as it's planned well. So ultimately, this is our goal. This is our constant function. So obviously, um, as you heard Brian talk about you know, real estate within your club, you know, you, Brian um, can set up areas that accommodate six to eight people if this is the only amount of room that you have in your club, right up to space that can have 25 or 30 people. So obviously active solutions can accommodate all areas, all spaces for heads walking in the door. Brian, what about the education? Because, you know, we both know that educating our trainers to deliver great classes is paramount to the success of that program on the timetable. What sort of education does active supply to the club owner? Well, that's a great question. I mean, really what we are is at our best a facilitation of terrific programming. What I mean by that is, as you know now, there are so many, so many great um, both, both training methodologies, training professionals. There's not a lack of content in our industry. There's a lack of proper dissemination and distribution right when it's needed most in our view. So what we like to do is we, we think of our, our entire offering, if you will, as an open platform. And what that means is that, again, we're creating space that's experiential and we're setting a stage for those fitness professionals or their content delivery to be present. And so the way that we would do that is through these digital systems like Active TV. And then we partner with the best in class in all training methodology. So, you know, really that just depends on what, once again, the client is, is looking to focus on. And again, if that's kickboxing or if that's something more specific to power Pilates or anything of that nature, we're going to find a way to partner with those groups and make sure that the environment is set in the way that they feel is optimized for their environment best. That sounds, that sounds great. And you, Andrew is your head of education, isn't he? He is, and uh, again, I like to think of him as the human <laughs> aggregator of uh, of those, you know, modalities. And and really, we are, you know, we just feel that there's so many different ways to both introduce exercise as well as, you know, really facilitate something experiential within club. And so, I think it's important not to be too tightly defined around any one type of training or methodology. Recovery is so important today. We're so pleased that, you know, there's so many other areas broader than fitness and wellness in general that, you know, is coming into the purview of the, of the average member. And, you know, we're looking to help clubs make sure that they're open and, and really geared up towards that opportunity. Now, Brian, you'll be at Thebo in Miami in a couple of weeks' time. What, when I come to the expo, what will I see at the expo in regards to the Active Solutions brand? And what are you offering club owners throughout the expo? Well, 
hopefully you'll see that we practice what we preach. You know, you'll see an energetic environment. Our team will be there. We'll actually have a live working version of Active uh, Academy on display. Um, you'll see our digital solutions integrated there. We've got some things that we're well known for beyond this um, this energy sort of epicenter that is the academy in that we have um, small storage solutions, any number of tools that can help sometimes clients get that much better in their functional training game without necessarily having to completely revamp spaces. So we like to think we're a great partner in that regard, and we'll have all of that as well as our great team on display. Can I just ask you, Brian, what are some of the pieces of equipment that you will have on display that perhaps you haven't had on display at other conventions in the last six months? Well, we will definitely have our new um, free anchor solution for our gym racks rigging system. Um, we're very, very proud of that. It's a solution that's not talked about nearly enough, but we feel that that's going to be something that will change quite a bit over time, and that is the um, opportunity to create anchored solutions, whether they be wall solutions or bridge solutions or any number of suspended solutions that will not require either fastening to the floor or to the wall. So we've created something that is uh, known as free anchor, and this eliminates the need to drill into those areas that sometimes are foundationally just not structurally strong enough to support. Um, so this is this is really a big factor in real estate, obviously, within any space, giving the operator the ability to position whatever the rigging environment um, requirement is without having to modify that based upon limitations of the structure of their concrete or their walls. So we're really excited about that. And um, so that will be there. And then, you know, we, of course, have our active aqua system, which is really getting uh, quite a bit of attention. People are having a lot of fun with the ability to, you know, train in an unstable environment. So we have a lot of different form factors for that. A ball in our bags, our aqua bags, that really give us the ability to, you know, create a whole other training environment uh, that might be a little different than most people are used to. And, I mean, this all adds variety to the workouts, and this is what's important nowadays. We need to add more variety to the programming. Club owners need to be going out there and, and advertising the formats of their classes onto social media because branding is obviously extremely important. And I noticed in your academy brochure that you actually allow club owners to place their own branding on the TV programming. Well, we do. In fact, we do it in other forms as well within our gym racks, functional rigging, and, and having brand opportunities there. I think that's one of the biggest gaps, Mel, in the health club environment today where you know the opportunity is to be the trusted source in fitness for those clients. And, you know, they are looking for something that is a deeper experience, but they're looking for a trusted experience. And I think club owners have a, a very unique opportunity to go deeper with their own brand. You know, when they're making investments and in whether it's functional training or any other area within the club to really deepen the, you know, the themed element there. And that should be wrapped around their brand versus simply our brand or any brand of a major fitness equipment manufacturer, because that's not really what the connection point is. So we absolutely look for ways to, in essence, create a crafted space any way we can from the floor to the rigging to the digital solution, as you say, that certainly can have their brand. And that brand may not simply be their logo. It could be the theme of what they're calling their programming or their training teams or what have you. So we'd love to have opportunities to collaborate on that front. Obviously, Active Solutions is allowing gym owners to own their own space in such a competitive market that we have at the moment. And what I love about Active Solutions is that they are allowing you as the individual club owner to set up your own boutique studio within your club. And I think moving forward into the future of fitness, club owners need to understand that you can create a successful business within the business and it's nothing to be frightened of. You've already been doing that for many, many years 
prior to uh, you know boutiques standalone boutiques coming along you were already running this with your group fitness that was a business within a business the same as your cycle the same as your PT so independent club owners I strongly suggest and franchises that you get along and speak to the active solutions team at FIBO in Miami Brian and the crew will be there they've got some incredible um, ideas they've got some incredible in equipment for you to look at Brian, I know that you're short of time today, so please do tell me where is the best place for people who would like to chat to you more about setting up a boutique studio within their club? Where's the best place for them to get in touch with you? Sure. Well, find us online, of course, at activesolutions.com. That's A-K-T-I-V, solutions.com. And I think you'll find plenty of ways to reach us through there. And we have a lot of uh, inquiry forms and what have you, depending upon what uh, strikes your fancy there. But we'd love to speak with anybody who's looking to enrich their experiences in functional training. I'll be dropping Brian's details into the bottom of our podcast. He has an absolutely fantastic Academy Studio brochure that can be sent out to you. All you need to do is to jump onto their website. Brian, I thank you very much for your time today. I know that I'll be catching up with the Active Solutions team at FIBO in Miami. I, I must admit, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing your Rack Solutions as a club owner. I think this is in, an incredible opportunity. And I'm also looking forward to visually seeing your Active Virtual and your TV system up and running. Yeah, well, thank you, Mel. We look forward to spending some time with you as well. It's going to be a great time in Miami. They say some surf and cocktails and a little bit of fitness and business education as well. Absolutely. Thank you for your time today, Brian. Thank you, Mel.